Republican historian, and he's the elder of our organization. Um, I think it's really important that when you celebrate our culture today, we're here to, for a cultural extravaganza. We're celebrating our identity. I think that one thing we've noticed is that we're different, right? Different language, rhythm people have different geographic locations, different religions, different ideologies. I mean, you have from Christian, Muslims, you know, the Yoruba religions and faith, which is different, but we're the rhythm people. And so it's important that we operate in that spirit of rhythm because it helps us uh, to stay in communication long enough to find resolutions to the issues that affect us all. Um, one issue that has affected us, my African prince, don't you hear us calling? It's because we can see you're falling, falling into the ditches of life, causing our sisters misery and strife. In a prison that you can't see, taste, or spell, a prison for your mind, you can't physically rebel. Say you're living your life in the white man's world. So your head's down and your back's curved. Slavery so long ago, what a phony excuse to explain why you rely on substance abuse. My African prince, don't you see we're crying? It's because we can see you're dying with do-rags and bandanas over your eyes. It seems that you've lost sight of the prize, lost sight of Martin Luther King's dream to achieve. You're not in your rightful places. Nobody believes. Killing us soft, African prince, don't you see? Us sisters, strong sisters, proud sisters, standing in the midst of time, sisters, withstanding time, sisters. Us sisters are the spokesmen of your everyday eulogies. Kareem Ali. Yo, what's going on? You ready? Check. 